back here at Omar Arena. You see, hey, Bue, I noticed you talking about the ranch dressing there and focusing on that. Seabass and Dan Reeves coming to you live from the historic Omen Arena. It's been a while since we've been in here. It's always great to come in here and catch a bass. It's a fun place to do a game, especially right here on the floor. Paul Schulze, Lawson Mann, producing and directing is Cameron Greer and, of course, uh, Drew Magruder all making it work. It takes a lot of people to make this happen, and we are excited about this ball game coming up. This should be an athletic, up-tempo basketball game between USJ and Sacred Heart. Now, tomorrow, we'll be back live in the studio with the Cheap Seats and Thursday as well. Then, of course, as we told you, Friday and Saturday, we've got USJ Basketball. We'll get you these starting lineups here in just a few minutes. What do you get that final round of my box score? Uh, USJ's in the first game, the Lady Bruins, the final score there was 69-32. to 32. And just to get you the accurate numbers there, uh, Emily Jones with 20 points to lead off scores. It was Julie Wagner with 15. She played great tonight. Olivia Jones with 14, 6 for Sophie Stallings, 5 for Kaylee Casagro, 3 for Sarah Beth Browse and May Howe, and 4 points for Claire Lewis. So a, and everybody got in tonight. Uh, the entire roster played. Uh, and just a true total team effort and a 37-point win tonight over Sacred Heart. Now, for you Sacred Heart fans, and, and you don't need me to tell this, tell you this, but you already know, um, definitely an improving program. No question about it. They have come leaps and bounds uh, from where they were just a couple of years ago. Just a year ago, really, to be honest with you. So if you're a Sacred Heart fan, you know, and you know you got a good thing going with your basketball program for the boys, and you're trying to build this girls program up, uh, I got news for you. You're in good hands, and they're certainly doing that. So, you know, they're not on the level of the Lady Bruins yet, but you know what? The fact of the matter is that team's undefeated in region play, and most teams are not. This is a team that's been playing up in in Nashville the last couple of years in that state tournament for a reason. Well, you know, son, this Sacred Heart team is a threat, a legitimate threat this year, Bill. Go a long, long way. You know, it's... Oh, I don't, I don't think there's any question about it, Danny. They got length. They got sharp shooters. They're athletic. They can get up and down and play good defense. Starters, Tariq Williams, a senior at 6'5". Kyler Holden, he's a heck of a player at six feet tall. Kyler's a senior. Dante Williamson, a senior. He's 6'6". Six, six. So you got 6'6 six, six and 6'5 six, in the lineup here to start things. And Harris Parker is 6'4". Harris is a senior. And you've got Kevin Marcel, a six foot senior running the point. That's a big team. And then on the bench, you've got over there, you got 6'10". Malik on the bench. It could come off. So that's a yeah. big team for USA, the starters. Is this man here is a strong, strong man. Kobe Rhodes. He's wearing yeah. 33 tonight. Oh, young, strong. Yeah, young, young, strong. He's about 6'5". Colton. Tanner Atkins, 6'5", senior, the USJ slasher. Jacob, Ag the, Jacob At Atkins, a senior. Jacob's about 6'2". You, also, you got Stan McFarland wearing number 41 tonight. Stan is a, a senior, and he's right at 6'3". And Colby Hughes, the quarterback of the team. Colby's a senior, or yeah, yeah, Colby's a senior for USJ. And the tip controlled by Colby Hughes is run away. USJ coached by Hamilton Hudson, assisted by Bill Hopkins, Ken Watts. And they don't put the coaches' names on the Sacred Heart roster. Get to it's Coach Beauregard, Coach I believe. Beauregard from, from Bolivar. I think he played down at Bolivar. 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 Here's USA. McFarland, top of the key, sends it over in the corner. Hughes, a three. Oh, sir. It's nothing but cotton from the moon. It's 3 nothing. USA with a tray. Here is Sacred Heart, left wing. Wide open look at a tray. It's on its way and good. That's the 6-6 Dante yeah. Williamson bass. He has range. You're tied at three. What well, beautiful rotation and elevation on that jumper. My goodness. Six, six. McFarlane. Three. He, he, yes. Oh. And he's 6-3. And he not got a tray. It's tray, tray, tray. Six to three. 
USJ by three. Here's another three. This one short by Sacred Heart from the corner. Had a good look at it, but he couldn't get it to go down. That's Harris Parker on the miss. USJ. Here's Jacob Atkins. McFarlane three. Yes, he's two for two from downtown, and USJ's three for three from long range. It's nine to three. Bruins to strike things. Six and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Heat check, my friends. Between the two of them, three or four by on the arc. You better believe this game means more than just a region game. USJ still smarting after losing at home to Sacred Heart. These schools are next door to one another for quiet out loud. There's a foul on USJ on the floor. Jacob Atkins picks that one up. First foul of the ball game on the floor. Sacred Heart will inbound from the side. You can text us, let us know where you're listening or watching tonight's game. Old Town's Spaghetti Store text line 277 55 Sacred Heart lost the handle, gets it back. Williamson, dribble drive. Had it knocked away from behind by Atkins. Out of bounds. It'll stay with Sacred Heart. Good hands by Atkins. Oh, Bruins, really, Bruins really strong out of the gate on both, and not only the hot shooting behind the arc, but defensively as well. Here's Sacred Heart. And the basketball, six minutes left in the first. And it thrown away. Good defense by USA. USA's come out. Looks like they're having fun playing basketball. And playing well. That's a good point, Danny. That's a very good point, and I totally agree. Well, I love this courtside view so much better, don't you? Uh, it's, <laughs> way, it's, it's way you should call a basketball game, you know it? Here's U.S. Shea with a basketball with a 9-3 lead. Kobe Hughes has a three. U.S. Shea with three trays. Kobe Hughes, a beautiful hop, skip, and a jump into the paint, and the floater. It's 11-3 Bruins. That's a foul on the other end. Second one on Jacob Atkins as he fouls Kylan Holder. Sacred Heart had a long pass down the floor. And Holder will shoot too. Oh and you know, Atkins almost got there. He was just a little tardy, man. Well, what about I Kobe? I mean, everybody expects he's a spot shooter, you know, but how about the dribble penetration and drive on the floater from 10? I don't feel tardy. That free throw by Holder breaks a 9 0 Bruin run. And a lane violation, he won't get a second shot at it. You don't see that very often. So here is USJ with a basketball. Roach left way. Five and a half minutes left, first quarter, 11 to four Bruins. Here's Tanner Atkins, his grandfather, Congressman John Tanner is here. Here's McFarland, top of the key. He's cut off there, wanted to drive. Now Kobe Hughes out top. Sends it right wing, Jacob Atkins inside McFarland. Dribbles, stops, shoots, shot partially blocked, out of bounds to Sacred Heart. How in the world did Tariq Williams, and I know he's 6'5 with long arms and can leap, how did he get a piece of that basketball? He had, a he had another post player in front of him. It's called want to, my friend. So here is end of the game for Sacred Hearts. A three, Williamson, NBA range. It went in, it came out. Rebound, UFC. That was long distance there. Aiden Madwa into the game for the first time tonight. Rebound, USJ. Here is Colby Hughes, three. Yes! Oh. You can tell it left the fingertips. Nothing but the bottom of the net to the Bruins. It built a 10-point advantage, 14 to four. USJ with 426 left. In the first quarter at Omen Arena, USJ and Sacred Heart. What a trifecta. That thing had a stewardess on it. It barely hit the net. USJ, four of four from downtown. Inside, up the glass. Beautiful spin move for two. Tariq Williams, 14 to six Bruins. Sam McFarlane and Kobe Hughes, both two of two from downtown for the Bruins. Well, if I'm Sacred Heart, that's where I'm playing this game at when I have the ball in the post. McFarlane, down low, in the paint. Double team, spinning, twisting, shot rejected, taken by Sacred Heart. Williamson has it. Williamson bounce pass. It's broken up, out of bounds. It'll stay with Sacred Heart. Well, and I know, and it is flashy. It looks, but that's such a low percentage pass, a bounce pass from that far in transition, trying to split two defenders at that angle. It's almost impossible. So here is Sacred Heart with the basketball. Kicking it outside, holder three, no, it hit the front of the iron, 
from the side and clawed over the side. Rebound Jacob Atkins for USA with three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. 14 to six Bruins. Here's Hughes. Three. No, it went around the rim and outs. Rebound holder for Sacred Heart. Boy, that was to, on the line. Yeah, channeling his inner Clay Thompson. Who's a three on the other end? Yes, well, it counts. It's a foul on her Sacred Hearts away from the ball. Count the three by Holder. But the foul charged the Sacred Hearts trying to position down low. That's their first. USA has two team fouls. They're both on Jacob Atkins. Did you see Clay uh, Thompson last night break an NBA record, hit his first 10 three pointers? Are you serious? In a row. I was watching a documentary. I could see that. He is 14 and 9. That 10 point lead has been cut in half for USA. 5 0 run by Sacred Hearts. Here's Jacob Atkins. Three. Short. Rebound. McFarland put back. Went around the rim and out. Rebound this time. Williamson, Sacred Heart. Here he comes off and running in the front court. Sends it left wing. Here's Madwa. A three is good. Oh, boy. It's a 7 0 run and a two point game. USA leads 14 to 12. Got trouble in the backcourt, got a hurry. And Jacob Atkins gets it across the timeline. Here's McFarland right corner. Now it's Tanner Atkins right wing. Tanner working right side. He's on the right wing. Now it's McFarland out top of the key. Kobe Roach will send it to Kobe Hughes. The other timeline left side. Against Manwall, dribbles top of the key. Here's Tanner Atkins in the paint. Now Roach on the left wing. Throws it away. Well, well. This is easy right now uh, because especially with uh, Nana in the game, they recognize that, that it's going to be tough to get to the lane. They've cut off attempting to drive to the drive to the bucket. You cannot abandon that because they're expending that defense and, and leaving him down there by himself and nobody's cutting to the basket. That's going to make it almost impossible to find an open perimeter shooter. Here's Sacred Heart working the baseline. They throw it away to be USA ball. End of the game for the first time. He's put on some weight since last year. Made him Malik, 6'10". Boy, he is now, a big one. I checked just to make sure before the start of the game. That's Nana Malik. Nana Malik. And, Hell and nah, nah. That weight is not, uh, not fat. It's uh, muscle. Here's USA leading by two with a minute 47 left in the first quarter of the basketball. Hughes, three. Yes! Oh, 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 oh. NBA range. Kobe Hughes, his third tray. And the Bruins take a five-point lead. Here's Madwa trying to answer. No. Hit hard off the backboard, nearly knocked it over. Rebound to Sacred Heart. They fire another three. This one hits the front iron. Rebound. Put back, yes. What a strong rebound by Dante Williamson. This team is talented, I tell you. 17 yeah. to 14, the Bruins by three. Yeah, he's silky smooth. I think he's the best player on the court. Here's USA with the basketball. Jacob Atkins, right wing. Now the corner they go. Kobe Hughes with a minute left in the first quarter. Hughes, they got him double team, needs some help. Here's McFarlane, top of the key. McFarlane, now it's Tanner Atkins, left wing. 59 seconds left, first quarter. Tanner Atkins driving the baseline, kicks it outside. Three, he, he, yes! Jacob Atkins from downtown. It's 20 to 14, Bruins. USA now, what, six of seven from yeah. downtown. Red hot from the perimeter. Here's a foul, and it's the third on Jacob Atkins. I don't understand. He's left in the game with two fouls in the first quarter. Now he has three. Well, I mean, at this point in the season, we just you just have to know that's what it's going to be. That's what Coach Hudson does, and that's what it's going to be. But I, st but I still don't find, and not to question a coach, but I'm just trying to figure it out from my standpoint, talking shop. But Wesley, <laughs> Wesley Carlock gets into the game, and he's played well this year. So here's Wesley. <laughs> here's Matt Walsh. Oh, now, corner three, no. Over the back of Atkins. Atkins runs it down. Throws it in the front court. And Kobe Hughes let it go off the fingertips and out of bounds to Sacred Hearts. 28 seconds left in the first quarter. 20 to 14 Bruins. USA and Sacred Hearts. Here is Sacred Hearts. Madwa, corner, three, no. Went around the rim, came out, rebound. Stanton McFarland, USJ. The Bruins with a chance. Well, the final shot of the first quarter. What a great box out that time. 
Here's McFarlane, top of the key. He'll fire a three. He will hit a three. He's three of three. The three-point range. It's raining threes. And the Bruins take a 23 to 14 advantage. Four seconds left in the quarter. Top of the key. Long two. Yes, set the buzzer. Kevin Marcel, what a first quarter of action here after one. It's USA 23. It's Sacred Heart 17. It's Jackson's News Talk 101.5 and WNWS.com. MasterFit Medical Equipment is on a mission, and that mission is to serve everyone with premium medical equipment at savings you wouldn't find elsewhere. At MasterFit, we represent over 200 medical equipment and supply manufacturers and over 90,000 products, with much of it in our warehouse right here in Jackson. Defibrillators, monitors, EKGs, pumps, sensors, and more. So when you need more affordable medical equipment, call MasterFit Medical Equipment at 554-1223. Keeping you informed, alerted, and entertained. We're Jackson's News Talk, 101.5 FM. Okay, a little note for you quick with that last shot hit by Kevin Marcel as the buzzer expired. Uh, originally called a three. The officials got together, talked it over, came over to the score table, said they were ruling that was a two, that his foot was on the line. So instead of being 23-17 after the end of one, your, first, your, your score after one, 23-16, to 16, USJ leading Sacred Heart. Well, you know, I call it live. I said foot on the line. It's a long two, but I didn't realize they called it a three, but yeah. they changed it. Yep, got together, and that's all you can ask for. Absolutely. Here's to start the second quarter. Long three is an air ball from Williamson. Picked out of the air by Holder. The putback, no. And the rebound comes out of bounds to USJ. Williamson hearing it from his coach that time. And he said, Coach, you're right. Shooting from the timeline was not a good idea. And Sacred Heart picks up their second team foul. It's charged to, I think it was Malik. He'll sit. U.S. Shagos, Kobe Hughes, Tanner Atkins, Kobe Roach, Wesley Carlock, Stan McFarland. 23 to 16 Bruins. As we start the second quarter, Wesley Carlock, dribble drive, shot rejected, and ran down by Kobe Hughes. Hughes top of the key. Right wing, McFarland. McFarland picks up his dribble inside Roach. Roach to McFarland in the paint. Too many passes. Yeah, exactly. McFarland should have went up with it, taken by Sacred Heart. Here's Sacred Heart. On the left wing, Williamson, top of the key holder. Right wing, three, Madwa, yes. Second trade by Aiden Madwa. Cameron, don't let him stay with you again. 23 to 19. It's a four point lead for USJ. The other boys in the basketball. Hughes, checked by Madwa. Now it's Tanner Atkins, left wing. Kobe Roach, he's disappeared tonight. Hughes got to play strong. For you. Oh, uh, that's going to be an offensive uh, foul. He just made an appearance. He did. He just pulled <laughs> on. He wasn't. He wasn't paying attention. He was. He was running and not looking where he was going. And just steamrolled Tariq oh, Williams. Man. That's he USA's 14 foul. The first one on Kobe Roach. I think he's intimidated a bit by the big shot blockers, and he's not using his number one tool bass and that's his strength. Yeah, to push them right out of the post. He's got to do it. He's stronger than they oh, are. Oh, way stronger. His holder left wing. Stolen by Tanner Atkins. Tanner waits for the troops. Ahead to Carlock. All the way in. Yes, off the glass. He runs the floor faster than anybody on this floor. And they got him an open floor. Yeah. Tanner Atkins hit him for two. By a long way, by the way. That's why he's perfect in this game for them. I mean, he makes so much more sense against the speed and length for the Sacred Heart team. 25 to 19. Madwa open three. No, sir. Climbed over the backboard. Did the ball. Wow. It'll be USJ's basketball. 6-11 left before halftime. 25 for USJ. 19 for Sacred Heart. You can watch this game, and it's a great one at WNWS.com. Yeah, now, USJ got away with that one because that ball didn't go down, but they were tardy there, and Madwa could have easily made them pay for that. It was on the mark. You just hit hard off the back iron, crawled over that backboard. Here's USJ. Tanner Atkins slashing to the hoop. He's nailed it. The shot. They caught a charge. Wow, he went out of his... Wow. He was under the goal, and they caught a charge. That's unbelievable. How you call a charge you got to let rim. the man land. I've never seen a charge called when a 
offensive player was on his way down. And that's when the contact was made. And as you made. pointed out, he was under the goal. That, that was, <laughs> that crazy. was, wow. I'm going to shut up now. Shut up. Inside, in the paint, twisting, turning, shooting, missing. Beautiful defense that time. Wesley Carlock was down low and rebounded. Goes to USA. Here's Hughes. Triple drive in the paint. Kicks it out. McFarlane. McFarlane, he's at the elbow. Has it stripped away. Taken by Sacred Heart. And McFarlane Ooh. fouls. Tariq Williams is Williams. Does his best to land an Oscar. Okay, because I thought he got a little shove right there. Okay. From this angle behind, I look like uh, Stan kind of gave him a little shove, but I guess he did not. Timeout, USJ. 5.28 left before halftime. It's USJ 25 in Sacred Heart 19 on Jackson's News Talk 101.5 and WNWS.com. He finally did it. What? He got her Sonic's new steakhouse bacon cheeseburger. <gasps> Guys, if you really love her, get her Sonic's new Steakhouse Bacon Cheeseburger and Tots for $4.99. Nothing says you're the best thing that ever happened to me, like crispy bacon and black pepper mayo. One bite of warm, buttery brioche bun will leave her speechless. It's, it's beautiful. Hurry into Sonic for the new Steakhouse Bacon Cheeseburger and Tots for $4.99. Tax not included. See menu for details for a limited time. Only participating Sonic drive-ins. The latest news, hottest talk, Jackson's News Talk, 101.5 FM. U.S. Chamberlain basketball presented in by Outback Steakhouse in Jackson, the number one ranked Outback in the state of Tennessee. Congratulations, Ian and Solanco and staff. They base it off cleanliness. <laughs> Off service and of course food quality mass. That's the big three. And they are number one in the state of Tennessee. Outback Steakhouse in Jackson. That's quite an honor. We're so proud of them. Outback Steakhouse in Jackson. Great place for Valentine's Day. 194 Stonebrook Place open at 11 o'clock Monday through Friday. And on the weekends, they'll, or pardon me, open at 4 o'clock Monday through Friday. And on the weekends, they open at 11 o'clock. 194 Stonebrook Place. 25 to 19. 519 left in the second. USA with the lead. Sacred Heart with the basketball. They had it. They lost a great defense. And out of bounds, they dribbled the basketball. Did Tariq Williams and the Bruins have it back? You? I gotta say, I think this is the best I've seen the Bruins play this year. No doubt. Can they do it for four quarters with basically five players? Tonight, six. Wesley Carlock left wing against Madwall. Carlock goes around it. Carlock, floater. Nobody draws the foul. Yeah. He'll shoot two. I tell you, I'd like to see him on the floor more. I totally agree. Baseline dribble penetration. And honestly, Sacred Heart's not expecting it. But I, you know, I, I think if they're going to hold on what they need to do, Danny, you're right. Kobe Roach needs to get in there in the post offensively and at least make them defend it. You know, yeah. got to do it because these shots perimeter-wise are becoming harder to hit because all the length that Hickman Hart has, they're not worried about defending the goal, right? Right. So they can come out and, and you got these 6'5 long-arm cats in the face of, of, of McFarland and Hughes, and they were hot early, but, you know, they had open looks. The quote, piggity tag, your long-legged thing. Carlock misses both, and a foul on Kobe Roach to complicate things, going for the rebound. That's team foul number six. No, it's number seven, so last five minutes here in the first half. Sacred Heart's going to enjoy the bonus. It's a long time to shoot free throws. It is. At the line, Tariq Williams, the 6'5 senior. USJ with a six-point lead. Sacred Heart can trim that down at the foul line, and they do. First one is good. It's a five-point game. USA has led from the opening tip, largest lead, 10. We were tied briefly at three. Williams, a left-handed foul shot, good. Hit them both. 25 to 21, USA by four. Full court press. Carlock over to Atkins over to Roach, over to McFarland, and misses the layup. Rebound USJ. Well, that was beautiful, except it didn't go. Here's Tanner Atkins, top of the key. Roach at the foul line, turns, shoots, hits. There's Kobe Roach. 
27 and 21, the Bruins by six. Yeah, high post, exactly what I'm talking about. Draw them in. Madwall passes a three. Now it's Williamson dribble drive. Back to Madwall. Three, no. Rebound. Oh, Roach! That was that was a lot of contact. No call. No and the ball squirts back to Williamson. Sacred Art. Madwall corner. Now it's the right wing three by Williamson. Too strong. Back iron. Rebound. McFarland, USJ. 411 left. Before halftime. 27 to 21. The lead belongs to USJ. Here's Carlock right wing. USJ using the basket to our right here in the first half. McFarlane wants to drive, nothing there. Here's Carlock right wing, beyond the arc. Carlock moves to his right, dribble drive in the paint. Floater, no, but a foul will send Wesley back to the line to shoot a pair. That was a blocking foul on Williams, but that was much closer to a charge than the one he drew on to Tanner Atkins moments ago. Yeah, go shot of control, but I tell, again, I love it because now it presents something new that the Knights have to deal with that they weren't dealing with earlier, and that's dribble penetration. It just didn't exist in the first quarter. Ball on, free throw, yes. So USA goes Tanner Atkins, Wesley Carlock, Kobe Hughes, Kobe Roach, Stan McFarland. What I should do, all I need to do is say the starters and Wesley Carlock. That'll do. That'll do, Pig. Wesley? Yes. Hits them both, and USJ takes a 29 to 21 lead. 3.49 left in the first half. Here quickly down the floor is Sacred Heart. Top of the key, Williamson. Williamson, dribble drive. He throws it away. Carlock takes it out of the air. Here's Wesley Carlock with the basketball over to Tanner Atkins. The Bruins with an eight point lead and the basketball. Here's Hughes, left wing, beyond the arc, now Tanner Atkins between the circles, right wing, it's Wesley Carlock, 3.29 left in the first half, McFarland turns, shoots, misses from three, rebound inside, goes to Sacred Heart. Harris Barker wipes the glass clean, open look three, no, it's short, rebound, Carlock had it, lost it, outside Barker, three, short, rebound, they fight for it, here's Williamson, put back, no, rebound, Tanner Atkins has it for USJ, and he's fouled, and... Tanner Atkins, a strong rebound. That's going to be team foul number four on Sacred Heart. You like to see that in there, mixing it up, man. You can tell this game, they all matter to the Bruins, obviously. But this is a little something else tonight in the thing. Don't it you is. think? Yeah. Full court pressure, USJ. Got to get it across that timeline. Hughes does. He's in the front court. Hughes to Tanner Atkins between the circles to Roach down low. Roach to the bottom of the net. And USA takes a 10-point lead. It's 31 to 21 Bruins on a 6-0 run with 2.46 left in the first half. You beat the press not by dribbling. How do you beat it, you? Boy, by passing. Passing. And I'll tell you what, they made a beautiful pass on a perfect cut by Rose. Here's a charge. Wesley Carlock is coming to the game and made a difference for the Bruins. Well, you got that right. And on both ends, got four points here. Uh, and, and it's changed the dynamic of the defense for Sacred Heart with the dribble penetration. And then now drawing the charge there. 2.37 left in the first half. The Bruins by 10, and they have the basketball. Dan Reeves, Seabass, Cameron Greer producing and directing. You can watch the game at WNWS.com. Paul Schusey, Lawson Mayer. Here is Wesley Carlock, right wing. Looks for a screen. Now sends it to Hughes, left wing. Bounce pass into Tanner Atkins along the baseline. Here is Roach from the elbow right along the free throw line. Misses, and Wesley Carlock keeps it alive. He has it to Roach, to McFarlane. Pump fake, goes up. Yes, and a foul! I'm telling you, Wesley Carlock has been a spark here, Bue for this team with his speed, and the Bruins on an eight nothing run to take a 12 point lead with 2.06 left in the first half. Man, I love this kid, he's quickly becoming one of my favorite players to watch on this team. McFarlane, free throw, missed it. Gotta hit those free throws. Two minutes left in the first half, the Bruins by 12, 33 to 21. Here's Barker, left wing, dribble drive in the paint. Floater, no, rebound Barker. And we've got a whistle. I don't understand I that whistle. I don't know who that was on, but it had to be away from the ball, didn't it? And a two, two shots are coming. I mean, that had to be somewhere else, right? Because you and I had a clear view. There wasn't a defender within about a foot of him, right? I, I, I don't know what to say. Marco Frito goes around the rim and out. You call justice here? I, mean, I, 
I mean, maybe we've missed. I don't see how we're right beside it. So we got court level. And I don't want to hear this. They're closer than we are anymore. I mean, that was. They just wasn't a defender. I there. think that was on Atkins too. It'd be Tanner's second. Barker hits one of two. It's 33 to 22. The Bruins by 11. A minute 50 left in the first half against this very good Sacred Heart team. Wesley Carlock in the right corner. Works the baseline. Got him cut off outside Hughes. Top of the key. Here's Tanner Atkins right way. Over to Hughes. A minute 37 left in the first half. The Bruins by 11. Would be a big confidence boost as we move to late season here. Ooh. And timeout. USA great uh. athletic job by Wesley Carlock to avoid a backcourt violation yeah. on that pass showing his wide receiver skills timeout Bruins. And that was a very good timeout by Coach Hudson. I, I think that he, he saw that it was getting shaky. You don't want to have a turnover here. You got a double digit lead. 87 seconds left. Milk some clock right here and get a good possession. This game is presented in part by Sonic of Jackson with six Jackson locations. Sonic of Jackson. And I'd like to focus on their ketchup packs. <laughs> do you have and a their mustard? Folks, do you have a plan to survive a nuclear blast? How will you survive? Are you a prepper? Let Bass teach you his prepping skills. He is saving ketchup packs. He's going to survive on ketchup packs. Let me ask you a question. Were you a prep? A prepper? No, were you a prep back in high school? Son, I was a straight up thug. Oh, I bet you were. Hoodlum. Here's the inbound to Carlock. It's blocked inside <laughs> by Holder. But hey, that was still beautiful. Yeah. Make them make a play. It's your basketball. Stays with USA. The Bruins will inbound it with an 11 point lead for USA underneath their own hoop. Here's Hughes off the inbound. Three. Hit the back iron. Rebound. They fight for it. Goes out of oh. bounds to USA. Boy, I, I thought there could have been a foul there on Jalen Brown. How? Was that not a clear out foul? Okay, so I, it wasn't just me. I, I just. A minute 19 left in the first half. Here's Sacred Eye quickly down the floor. The floater, yes, a beautiful job of pushing the ball by Kevin Marcel for two. It's 33 to 24, USA by nine, but it's four straight points here by Sacred Heart. USA hasn't scored in about a minute. And one minute left in the first half, here's Tanner Atkins. And it's stolen by Madwall. Madwall off and running in the front court, off the glass, no! Rebound, Sacred Heart. The put back, no, but a foul on Carlock will put Sacred Heart at the wide. Jalen Brown will shoot two. And that, that, that's the kind of thing that will keep uh, Coach Hudson up at night right there, man. You, you just can't have the turnovers here. Got to protect it. You played so well for 15 minutes. You got to finish strong here. Right now, a 4-0 run by Sacred Hearts. Marcel, free throw, good. I said Marcel, I mean Jalen Brown. It's a 5-0 run that has trimmed this USA lead to eight. 33 for USA, 25 for Sacred Hearts. Second free throw, good. Jalen Brown hits them both. It's a 6-0 run for Sacred Hearts. 49 seconds left. USA still leads by seven. Here's Hughes in the front court. Over to Tanner Atkins, 41 seconds left to the first half. Here's Hughes, right wing, way beyond the arc. Picks a screen, drives, and a scoop for two. How about Kobe Hughes ends that six nothing drought. Here is a three jacked up quickly. No good, rebound, no sacred heart. Marker has it with 22 seconds left to the half. 35 to 26, the Bruins by nine. They've led the entire way. We were tied briefly at three. Here is Marcel with nine seconds, top of the key. Marcel to Madwall, broken up. Mike Madwall gets it back, a beautiful bounce pass. That was a travel, no call. At the buzzer, yes, off the glass by Holder. So, the 13-point lead was whittled down to seven before the buzzer sounded 35 to 28 USA leads at halftime you know but if I if I'm coach Hudson or if I'm a Bruins fan right now I'm pretty happy Here, here's why 
because if, if you think about it for a second, now, if you're talking about just the most talented basketball team, it's probably Sacred Heart, but this has been about a team concept on both ends for USJ, whereas Sacred Heart, what are they doing, Danny? They're coming down and pulling. They're not really running any sets, just coming down and shooting. At halftime, USJ 35, Sacred Heart 28 live at Ullman Arena. Right back with the halftime stats with Seabass. Right after this on Jackson's News Talk 101.5 in WNWS.com. News Talk 101.5 FM, the home of Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football. On to the second half we go. A very entertaining first half. Let's pause. Ten seconds for station ID. That's 0108-0108 to our stations, our affiliates on down the line. And in Canada, let's pause. Ten seconds for station identification. You're listening to U.S. Shea Bruin Basketball. This is WNWSFM Jackson. News brought to you by the Hughes Eye Group, the best in medical and surgical eye care. 112 Stone Ridge, Jackson. My name is Dan Reeves, along with Seabass, Cameron Greer, producing and directing. You can watch the game, WNWS.com. Paul Susi, Lawson Man there. Drew McGruder supervising like an angel. Here's USA with the basketball. Hughes, floater, baseline from 10. No. Rebound, Williamson, Sacred Heart. Here they come off and running in the front court. Williamson left wing, top of the key, they go with it. It's Marcel, now Manwalk. Beautiful pass inside for two to Dante. Or make that to Tariq Williams with the bucket. Manwalk with a no look, bullet pass inside in traffic. It's a five point game, the USJ 35 to 30. That, that ball almost gave Atkins a haircut, didn't it? Yes, that it went did. right over his head. Here's Jacob Atkins into the game with three fouls. Beautiful drive by Tanner Atkins. No rebound. Roach to put back. No. He had time to gather himself. He didn't think he had that time. Here's Madwall left corner. Now Williamson. Now Holder. Now Marcel. Now three. Yeah. Kevin Marcel. It's a 5 0 run for Sacred Heart to start the second half at a two point game. It was 13. Late in the second quarter, now it's a two-point USA win. Well, they did, did what I said they weren't doing in the first half. You see them work that ball around the perimeter, yep. the extra pass, finding the shooter, open shooter, making it. Broach, foul line, jumper, no, rebound, knocked around, taken by Sacred Heart. Here's Manwell on front court, left wing. To the trailer, Williamson to the bucket, two. We're tied at 35, timeout USA, a 7-0 run. And it, I'm telling you, Wesley Carlock not on the floor makes a difference. He was not on the floor to start the second half. Yeah, and you know, because right now, I mean, Tanner had the drive that he couldn't get to go down. But uh, you're going to have to replace something because you don't have the speed to keep up with this team. And they're going to eventually force a turnover or a long, tough shot that's contested. You need somebody to break this defense down. And frankly, the only one that I see that can do that with the ball in his hand is Carl is Carlock. It just is. Tanner Atkins still not 100% on his an ankle, so totally some agree. of his slashing ability, which he depends on that first step, is compromised because of the ankle injury. But Carlock is the fastest man on the floor. Yeah, no doubt. I, I totally agree with that analysis. Kobe Hughes, Tanner Atkins, Jacob Atkins, Kobe Rhodes, Stan McFarlane for USJ. Here's Tanner Atkins over to McFarlane. Corner, three, short. Rebound. Skied up by Holder for Sacred Heart. Ahead, Williamson front court, top of the key. Williamson shake and bake, sends it outside. Holder wide open, three, yes. It's an eight. Now it's a 10 nothing run. And the first lead of the ball game for Sacred Heart comes at 5.46 left in the third quarter. It's a three point lead and a turnover. Sacred Heart gets the ball right back with 5.43 left in the third quarter. And the question I have, the problem that I have is, yeah, he stroked an, uh, an open three from the right elbow, but where was the defender? There wasn't one. No one even coming at him. Here's USA. Oh, pardon me, Sacred Heart with the basketball. The starters to start the second half. Other than Aiden Madwall, who had a big second quarter. Wide open three, yes. 
Sacred Heart getting open looks, and Kevin Marcel drains that one. It's a 13-0 run that's produced a six-point lead for Sacred Heart. And that's in less than three minutes, by the way. The difference, Ned was hot. He gets to start the second half. Harlock was hot. He didn't start the second half for USJ. And these, again, are uncontested looks. Now, that one was a little far out, but still completely uncontested. Here's Hughes, right wing. Now it's Tanner Atkins to McFarland. Back to Tanner Atkins. It's big man basketball looking like shades of the old Memphis Grizzlies. Another open three. This time he went around the rim and out. Strong rebound, Williams. Back outside, Manwalk. Here's Williamson. Oh, my God. He dunked that basketball. I, I'm speechless. He's called for the foul, I believe. Wow. He was absolutely wild of a, one of the nastiest dunks I have ever <laughs> seen in high school basketball. And it doesn't count. And that that's, that's just, I don't know how you can take that bucket from him. How is that a charge? Uh, okay. That was a charge call on Dante Williamson. And it was on the, the elevation from a dunk. I don't understand. The same thing happened in the first half to USJ. Not a dunk, but Tanner Atkins with a beautiful dribble drive. And on the D elevation, the defender under the rim was called and Tanner was called for a charge. Have you ever seen that before? No. I've never seen honor, that basketball honor, no. in my life. I, I've never seen that. That was an insane play. Holy Dante God. Williamson elevated from just inside the charity strike. Oh, a beautiful dribble drive. Tanner Atkins finishes at the rim for two. It's a 4 nothing USA run, and it's a Sacred Heart two-point lead. Here's Sacred Heart with the basketball. What a game. Oh, if you're not getting a chance to watch this, if you're listening on the radio, watch the replay at WNWS.com. Here's Williams inside, twisting, turning, shooting, scoring, and he's fouled by Roach. Well, getting a little chippy there. Roach and, and, uh, Ro Roach and uh, Williams kind of mixing it up. Those are put two big cats. Well, what a game. Williams looked at Roach and said, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Kobe Roach is about 6'5", weighs about, like, 220. There's oh, nothing but muscle. I can tell you one thing, similar to Jim Hardigree is saying, is there any chance I can talk you into playing some linebacker and a rush in? Uh, you ain't kidding. I asked Coach Strapp if he knew who Kobe Roach was. He said, uh, yeah, yeah, I know who he is. <laughs> Tariq Williams in a three-point opportunity, old-fashioned way. One free throw coming. The left-handed foul shots, good. A three-point play the old-fashioned way. 44 to 39, the lead is five for Sacred Hearts. USA led by as many as 13. Here's Jacob Atkins, front court. Now McFarland, left corner, dribbles out in the left wing. Cross-court pass, here's Hughes, dribble drive to Roach. It's rejected, and the paint saved in bounds. And taken by Dante Williamson, top of the key. Over to the left wing, a three, short, no good by Marcel, but he had an open look. Rebound of Tanner Atkins, USJ. Uh, Sacred Heart's holding up three and running backwards before the shot goes down. It's not yeah. good basketball. Tanner Atkins to McFarlane in the paint. Yes, off the glass as Tariq Williams again goes for an Oscar, and the officials arise to it. It's a three-point game again. Stunned, they didn't call charge. <laughs> Sacred Heart with a basketball holder to Madwa in the right corner. Aiden sends it to Williamson, top of the key. Long three, no, back iron, rebound Madwa on the right wing. Now it's Marcel on the dribble drive, lost it out of bounds. Uh, it'll be USA basketball. We call that justice for the no call on that clear travel. <laughs> right there. I mean, it looks nice. This game presented in part by Garrett Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Since 1955, family-owned and operated business. Wonderful operation 
668-3339. Garrett Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning. Here's Tyler or Tanner Atkins on the left wing. Top of the key, McFarland. Now it's Hughes. Now it's Tanner Atkins in the left corner. Dribbles out to the wing. Now McFarland right wing. Perimeter basketball. Jacob Atkins has it right corner. 220 left third quarter. Atkins a three on its way. Yes. Jacob Atkins from downtown. And we're tied at 44. Now Jacob's second three. He's got six. Third time tonight we've been tied. Two lead changes. Here's Williams. Charge. He was out of control. He went right over McFarland. Stan McFarland drew the charge. And USA will have the basketball with two minutes left in the third quarter. And we're tied at 44. Re-entering the game. Nana Malik. And exiting the game. Tariq Williams. Let's pick Nana. 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 Nana Malik. Six feet, ten inches tall. Man, if I could teach that young man to play volleyball. Yeah. Kidding me? He, he hit it under the net. He could probably play professionally. It's 16. Two minutes left to the third quarter. We're tied at 44. What a game here at Omen Arena. USC and Sacred Heart Boys. Here's Tanner Atkins right wing. Now it's Jacob Atkins. He'll dribble on the right wing to Tanner Atkins right corner. Tanner working the baseline. Dribble drive. Nothing there. Here's Roach on the right wing. Inside the arc. Now it's Kobe Hughes out to the timeline. Picked up his dribble. And had to call a timeout. A defense. Well, you pick your dribble up in the sacred heart defense. You're taking your chances. Got two full. 130. Timeout USJ. It's a full. We'll take it with it. With a minute 35 left, third quarter. We're tied at 44 on Jackson's News Talk. 101.5 at WNWS.com. Poplar Corner Exxon still believes in good old-fashioned service, always putting the customer first. Ken and Lily and his staff are committed to professional, expert, and friendly service. At Poplar Corner Exxon, you have choices. Your choice of ethanol or non-ethanol gas. Your choice of self-service or full service, including checking your tires under the hood and your windshield washed. You can also get your propane gas at Poplar Corner Exxon, plus minor or major car repairs. They'll take good care of you at Poplar Corner Exxon, Hollywood and the Bypass, Jackson. When you need to know. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. There's only one place to go. Yeah, I know. I do. I do, too. Get in the know. It's what I need to know. Information you need to know on News Talk 101.5 FM. As the timeout is Stan McFarland, a three from the right wing goes around the rim and out. And a battle for the rebound since it had a bounce off of Sacred Heart, so the Bruins will keep the basketball. Be careful there. What'd you got? My name's not Guy. Dan Reeves. And Seabass with you. Off the inbound, here's Kobe Hughes, left corner. Checked by Barker. Inside, here's Tanner Atkins. Twisting, turning, back outside. Here's Hughes, left corner. Now top of the key, USA goes with it. McFarland over to Jacob Atkins in the right corner. Top of the key, here's Hughes. Beyond the arc with a minute left in the third quarter. We're tied at 44. Here's a pass that's deflected and taken by Sacred Heart. Williamson has it. He's off and running in the front court. Top of the key, checked by Tanner Atkins. Wanted to go around him, got help from Hughes, has to pull it back outside, here's Holden. Sends it left wing, over on that left wing is Marcel. Nana sends it to Williamson between the circles with 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Sacred Heart slows it down, looking like they want the last shot of the third quarter in a game that's tied at 44. And USA says, we'll oblige because we're tired. No Wesley Carlock in the third quarter. Give him credit for battling back after that five-point deficit. 17 seconds left in the third. Here's Marcel, sends it to Williamson. A long three, went around the rim and out. Rebound, Barker, Sacred Heart. And he's fouled with eight seconds left in the quarter. Williamson shot that one from beyond NBA range. Before you say, what are you doing? That ball was halfway down and spun out. And that's the same guy that left from about midcourt and dunked that basketball. Has a shot like that. He's 6'6". Six, six. Here's the end down with eight seconds left. Marcel has it. Left wing. Four seconds. Top of the key. Three seconds in the paint. Floater. No, but he's fouled. He'll shoot two with one 
And five tenths of a second left in the third quarter. Marcel with a quick move. That's what UHA doesn't have right now. It's sitting on the bench in the form of Wesley Carlo. I'll tell you one thing, tough, Colby Hughes is a tough young man. He ran straight into a pick that Nana had set. That's 6'10 versus what do you think, Danny? About 5'7? 5'7, 5'8. And straight into him, man. Marcel, first free throw, and around the women out. Second free throw, yes. Breaks the 44 all tie with a minute or make it a second left. Long pass down the floor and gets over everyone's head. So now Sacred Heart will have a chance. And they'll get to take it out because nobody touched it. Big oh. mistake there under their own rim. Oh, you got that right, Marv. If, if, if Sacred Heart get, gets anything out of this, boy. And they call a timeout because they want to make USA pay for that with a one and five tenths of a second left. In the third quarter, it's 45 to 44. Our fourth lead change of the night. I make it, uh, uh, yes, fourth. And the reason why that Sacred Heart gets to take it out underneath their own rim is because that was a pass the length of the floor for USA after a made basket. So the clock doesn't start and no one touched the basketball That's right. as it went out of bounds. That's so right. Sacred Heart with a chance at two or even three to end the third quarter. That'd be disastrous. In the form of psychological warfare, right? Here's going to trigger. Does Williams hit it to buzzer? Oh, he just hit off the front of the iron. And they had a great look at it, too. What a game after three. It's Sacred Heart 45 and USA 44 on Jackson's News Talk. 101.5 at WNWS.com. There's several occasions in life when a man just needs to look good. And at Cambridge Limited Men's Clothier, we understand those moments. Sally, will you go to the prom with me? I would, but you look like a hobo. Do you take this man to be your husband? Not dressed like that, I won't. Located on North Highland across from Toys R Us, Cambridge has the best tie selection in town plus the best price. Size selections 36 short to 54 long and up. We have a tailor on staff and offer law enforcement specials on suits. Cambridge Limited Men's Clothier, North Highland, across from Toys R Us. We're not just another radio station. We're your radio station. Jackson's News Talk, 101.5 FM. Off to the fourth quarter we go. What a game. Hope you're enjoying it. Text us. Let us know where you're watching the game. At WNWS.com. What great camera work. Paul Schulze, Lawson Mann, the Worthy Road Studios, our production team. My name's Dan Reese, along with Seabass. Cameron Greer is producing and a directing. Text us on the old town of Spaghetti Store text line and let us know where you're watching or listening to the game tonight. 731-277-5155 to shoot us a text. Here on the old town of Spaghetti Store text line. It's 45 for Sacred Heart, 44 for USA. As we start the fourth quarter. For Sacred Heart under Florida started, Kendrick Beard at 5'10. Kevin Marshall at six feet. Dante Williamson at 6'6. Six, six. Harris Barker at 6'4. And Kendrick Beard, I think I mentioned him at 5'10. Tariq Williams. At 6'5", the five Sacred Hearts Knights on the floor and a foul on USA on the floor. For, for USA, it's Tanner Atkins, Kobe Hughes, Jacob Atkins, Kobe Roach, Stan McFarlane. They play the entire second half. It's a steal. Roach comes away with it over to Tanner Atkins, the grandson of Congressman John Tanner. Well, the post defense was fantastic at that time. Just floated the entry too far. One point Sacred Heart lead to start the fourth quarter. Here's USA. Three. Yes! Jacob Atkins from way downtown in the left corner. And the Bruins regain the lead. It's the fifth lead change of the game. USA with a two-point lead. 47 to 45 Bruins. 
drew the ball, the, the uh, bow back and fired that one, didn't he? He sure did. Here's Williamson left wing for Sacred Hearts. They'll sit at top of the key, Marcel. Now they go right wing beard. Here's Marcel, top of the key, wants to drive. Tries to go inside, throw it away. Tanner Atkins. They have the Kobe Roach. Can he run it down? He does. Waits on at the troops. Here's McFarlane at the foul line. Now Atkins sends it to Hughes, left wing. Jacob Atkins, three. No, hit the front iron. Rebound, Kobe Roach, USA. Back outside, Jacob Atkins. Here's Kobe Roach at the elbow. Kobe will send it to Hughes. Now Tanner Atkins, left wing. Here's an open look for three that's partially blocked by, I said an open look. Harris came out of nowhere, deflected McFarland's three-point attempt. Harris Barker is showing some hops there, beautiful. Partially blocked it. I was wondering because that shot was way, way off, and he's such a small spot-on shooter. I didn't realize he got a piece of that ball. Yeshay up by two. Here's a three. And at the front of the iron by Barker. No good. Rebound. It's Williamson outside a three. No. Rebound off of Barker out of bounds to USA. Boy, and you know, there was a chance Barker might have snagged that rebound, but that was Kobe Hughes. Got there, battled him, got him off balance a little bit and forced the ball out of bounds off the, off the defender. Nice job. 47 for USA, 45 for Sacred Heart, 547 left in a basketball game. It's a region game. USA three and five in the region. Sacred Heart six and two. Sacred Heart 14 and six overall. Here's McFarlane backing down Williamson. Going up strong off the front iron. No. Rebound and a good one to Reek Williams for Sacred Heart. Ahead they go Williamson. Right wing goes around Atkins. Yes. Off the glass. Oh, Williamson. We're tied at 47 apiece with 5.19 left in the fourth quarter. Live at Omen Arena. Here's Kobe Roach on the right timeline. USA using the basket to our left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Tanner Atkins checked by Barker, top of the key. Now he sends it to Jacob Atkins near the timeline on the right side. Atkins to Hughes, right wing. Kobe at the foul line. Now it's Jacob Atkins, left wing. Here's Roach in the paint, rises, shoots. Harshly blocked by Williamson, taken by Tariq Williams ahead. Barker is Williamson. Steps out of bounds. He was in the left corner, thought about a three through the defense, and he was going around the view, but he had left foot. He stepped back before he stepped forward, and he stepped out of bounds. He reminds me of Danny. He reminds me of DeMar DeRozan. That's who he reminds me of. <laughs> Calling that. You know, the crazy thing, he's only got seven points, but his effect on this game is far greater oh than seven points, I promise. And his best player tonight, a monster dunk didn't count. They got Atkins strapped in the back court. They get in the front court. Here is Hughes in the left corner. McFarland back to Hughes, left wing. Thought about a three, but he couldn't because of who? Mr. Williamson again. Now it's Jacob Atkins, right wing. Jacob sends it over to Tanner Atkins, top of the key, 423 left. Atkins to Jacob Atkins, three. Goes around the rim and out from the corner. That was halfway down and spun out. We're tied at 47. Here is... Sacred Heart in the front court. Barker open three. No, hit the back iron. Rebound to Reek Williams. Sacred Heart. And he's fouled and counts. <laughs> the hoop and the harm. And a chance for a three point play the old fashioned way. And Jacob Atkins picks up his fourth foul. And with 4.03 left in the game, Wesley Carlock gets his first action of the second half. You know, and I was going to ask, I didn't realize they knew the, 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 the blocking call, uh, but that's exactly what, that was the right call, by the way. And I was going to say, now we're just now getting Madwa in the game here uh, in this fourth quarter, and I, I think he needs to be in there. Well, he started the second half. No, I mean, I know in this fourth quarter, he just now got back in and played in the fourth. I think he's pivotal down this last well, he, four minutes. He played a great first half. Yeah, he did. Tariq Williams. Free throw, yes, a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Timeout, Sacred Heart. 50 to 47, Sacred Heart, the fifth lead change of the game. And it's a, a, a 30 second, we'll have to keep it, we'll stay here. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Let me, let me channel my interview. I don't tell like that. I don't tell like that. <laughs> <laughs> this game is brought to you by our friends over at Home Medical Products, hmpinc.net. 
homebound patients, hospital beds, lift chairs, patient lifts, bedside commodes, oxygen concentrators, portable oxygen. It's the hometown people, they do the best job, and it's your choice, homebound patients who provide your medical equipment. And I recommend home medical products. Call 877-660-0084, 877-660-0084-HMPInc.net. Wow, what a game, huh, you? Did you ever see Popeye, uh, Popeye Jones play when he was in high school over Greenfield? Oh, he was, was it Greenfield or Dresden? Dresden? Yes. Yeah. Did you ever get a chance to watch him play? Yes. How good was he? He was great. And uh, what's his name? Uh, two or three great players. Here's Tanner Atkins, dribble drive, slashing. He's fouled. He'll shoot two. With 3.52 left in the basketball game, 50 to 47, the advantage belongs to Sacred Heart. Tanner Atkins can trim that lead down from the foul line. You know, if, if, if uh, that if that ankle is still an issue, it doesn't look like it here in the second half. I mean, it's still not quite as explosive, but you know, these last couple of slashes, he's going all out. He's not uh, leaving anything there. It's both free throws. It's a one-point game. Sacred Heart by the slimmest of margins. It's a one-point night lead. Sacred Heart won the first meeting between those, these two teams in USJ's building. We're at Omen Arena tonight where Sacred Heart plays the biggest of the big games. Here's Marcel, top of the key. They go right wing now, Beard. Back to Marcel, top of the key. Checked by Colby Roach. Three and a half minutes left in the game. Now Williamson has it left way. Cross court pass and an open look at a three on its way. No. Great run out by Tanner Atkins. Affected that shot. Look who gets the rebound. It's Wesley Carlock from Carlock Nissan. Snatched it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson on Van Drive. Carlock Nissan of Jackson.com. Here's Hughes, Kobe right wing. The grandson of the chairman of the Madison County Commission, Gary Deaton. McFarlane at the free throw line. Wanted to shoot, but there was Williamson. Tanner Atkins slashes, scores. Oh. Tanner Atkins, a beautiful dribble drive, and the Bruins take a one-point lead. 51 to 50, the sixth lead change of the game. Williamson, top of the key. Now it's Marcel, he's out top. Here's Beard now, and we've got a lane violation. The Bruins have a lead of the slimmest of margins, and we have the basketball. He was still in the lane. That's a good call with Kylan Holder. I don't think he realized that he was still in there, and the official was right on the spot. What a game. Boy, I tell you, it's uh, Sacred Heart is so deep as well, View. We don't talk about their depth or not, but they are very deep. Yeah, they are. Their, their, their record speaks for itself. This is just a talented basketball team. And well coached. 238 left in the game. U.S. Shea gets full court pressure. Here's Kobe Hughes bringing it down against Marcel. Kobe in the front court with two and a half minutes left in the game. The Bruins nursing a one point advantage. McFarlane right wing. Now it's Tanner Atkins out near the timeline, checked by Holder. Tanner wants to drive. At the right wing, he's cut off. Now it's McFarlane. McFarlane works in the corner. Nothing there, picks up his dribble, throws it out top, Wesley Carlock. Here's Wesley, dribble drive, and the paint dishes to Rhodes for two, and there it is. He broke them down off the dribble, and it ended up with two points. And the Bruins take a three-point lead. Dribble penetration, the gift, that's what I was talking about. A minute 55 left in the game. Here's Madwa, three, no, hit the back of the arm. Rebound, Wesley Carlock climbed the ladder. You take him out of this game, I'm putting him back in. You know what I mean? <laughs> a minute 46 left in the game. Here's Carlock, right wing. Now it's Atkins, Tanner has it, top of the key, a minute 37 left, the Bruins by three. Oh, and Roach throws it in the backcourt. Boy, it's a backcourt violation as Tanner Atkins had to run it down. Yeah, he almost got elevated there. I think the foot just on the line. My goodness. Down by three, Sacred Heart with the basketball, a minute 27 left is Marcel. Now Madlaw, three on its way, it's off the mark. Rebound, they fight for it. Holder had it, lost it, out of bounds. It'll stay with Sacred Heart. Yeah, Madwa, the last two three-point attempts was not square on his shot. And you can see that ball drifted over to the left. Got to get set. Watch three, cut three. Aiden, you can see it, Bass, with our line of sight. 
floats. A minute 20 left. Sacred Heart basketball down by three. Williamson checked by Tanner Ackers. Way out top. Now it's Tariq Williams. He wants to drive. He's cut off by Roach. Outside Williamson three. It went around the rim and out. Williams follow. Yes, and he's fouled. Tariq Williams with another man size offensive board. And the put back and the hard. He can tie it up. From the foul line. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm loving the battle between Williams and Roach. They've been mixing it up all night long. That time Williams just wanted more, getting the best of Roach, putting it up and in with the harm. That's a chance, as Reese said, to tie this thing up. Tariq Williams, a left handed foul shots. In and out, he missed it. That would have been his third three point play had he hit it. Timeout, USJ. The Bruins lead by a single point with a minute and a second left in the game. We'll take the timeout with him on Jackson's News Talk, 101.5 and WNWS. Head.com. Range USA is Jackson's only indoor shooting range and open to the public seven days a week. Monday is Family Day. Tuesday is First Responders and Healthcare Day. Wednesday is Free Gun Rentals. Thursday is Ladies Day and Educators Day. Friday, Pro Gun Day. Range USA offers Tennessee handgun permit classes on Saturday and so many other classes you'll love. Sunday, bring your church bulletin and get a free target. Range USA, North Highland behind Taco Bell, Facebook, and RangeUSA.com. First in news, first in sports, the NFL and Monday Night Football only on News Talk 101.5 FM. It's also presented by Southeast and Termite Pest Control and Service Company. Get the free home inspection 660-1052. Chuck Walker, he's biased. He hates all termites. He's not biased. He hates termites. 6-6-0, USA has the basketball. Here's the situation. A minute and a second left. The Bruins with the basketball and a one-point lead and a game that's featured six lead changes. Full court pressure. Here's Tanner Atkins, checked by Holder. Tanner goes around his back. And around his back again. Now he's in the front court. Jacob Atkins back on the floor. No Wesley Carlock. Here's Tanner Atkins to... Colby Hughes has it stripped away and taken by Sacred Heart. Ahead is Matt Law on the front court. A lot of contact, no whistle there. Here's Marcel with 34 seconds left. Marcel tries to go inside. It's taken by Colby Roach. It's a steal and a foul on Holder. It's Colby Roach jumped in front of it in the passing lane and stole it in Bass. What a turnover here. What a play by Kobe Roach, who's not had, he's had a yeah. subpar game. But still, there's 28 seconds left, and the lead is only one. Yeah. And this full court press is tough. They get it in to, here is Hughes. Hughes to Jacob Atkins. They gotta push it. They do, they get it in the front court. Here's Roach, and a charge. They get the ball was. back to Sacred Heart, and now Wesley Carlock's going to have to come back in as Jacob Atkins picks up his fifth foul. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that's the correct call there. 20.6 left. High drama. It's high drama. And Hamilton Hudson chewing the ear of the zebra. I can't believe you. Yeah, the fans behind us here at Omen Arena. What a game, huh? What a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! And that God. one made the air. <laughs> Don't you love sports? Uh, Don't you love sports, Paul? <clears throat> Don't you love it? Well, if you love it, go give me some coffee. Yeah, he stood it to me, too. Did he really? Yeah. Yeah. A and dolphin? I, I put a tracking device on his vehicle. It doesn't matter where you are. CW, after the game, I'm tracking you down. And I'm going to introduce you to a little thing I call the windmill. What's the windmill? It's when I run at you doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, you, you wake up. 
as the sedation wears off at Premier Dental as they're putting a bridge in your mouth. 20 seconds left, Sacred Heart down by one, they have the basketball. It's Sacred Heart, Marcel, top of the key, works to the right. Oh, he traveled, no call, the floater, no! Rebound, they fight for it, Williams comes away with it. Mad Raw, three, yes! Wesley Carlock at the buzzer, oh, at the back of the eye. Final score. Sacred Heart 55, USA 53, back with first listen to this crowd. Wow. Heartbreak, heartbreak and open. What a game. Sacred Heart and Wesley Carlock nearly knocked that down at the buzzer. Final score, Sacred Heart 55, USA 53 on Jackson's News Talk, 101.5 and WNWS.com. The first thing people notice when they pull up to your home or business is what it looks like on the outside. How the grass looks. Is it pleasing to the eye? Boykins Mowing and Landscape has been keeping their customers satisfied for over a decade. Licensed and bonded, Boykins can improve the health and quality of your lawn today. From mowing and weed control to mulching and stump grinding, Boykins does it all. Call Boykins Mowing and Landscaping at 394-7249 and let them set you up on a plan that works for you. Boykins, the only name you need to know in lawn care. 